All right, hey everyone. Welcome back to another edition of the Beer Draft with Dan and Mike. All right, Mike, what's on tap today? Well, what we've got here is um, an amber ale from Mount Carmel, which is uh, a town just inside of Cincinnati, Ohio. Ohio, you know, is the state that I'm from originally. I happen to be back in Ohio visiting some family members, picked up some beers while I was in Cincinnati. And what's interesting about Mount Carmel is that it is the oldest craft microbrewery in Cincinnati. Hmm. So when I say oldest to you, how, how long do you think this beer company has existed? Let's see, Cincinnati, I would say 1890? 2005. What? <laughs> I know, can you imagine? That's the oldest. That's well, the oldest one. Bragging rights are yeah. bragging rights. So if you're the oldest, talk it up, I guess. Yeah, and you know, the thing is, um, I've noticed just in the past couple of years going back to Ohio to visit family members, the craft brew scene has really exploded in Ohio, as it has in much of the other parts of the country, but I think even more so in Ohio, it just seemed like some law was changed and they all started opening up. All right, that's cool. So this Amber Ale is their flagship beer. They do also offer a couple other ones. They've got a Stout, a Blonde Ale, an India Pale Ale, and a Nut Brown Ale. All right. They're not specifically named anything, though, so it's not like... You know, it's an amber ale named Amber Ale Goldilocks or something yeah. like that. You know, it's just, hey, this is our amber ale. I think I, I kind of prefer that. Uh, some of these breweries out here, they, with the names that they're naming their uh, the brews, sometimes sound too clever. Like if, yeah. if you're gonna make a porter, just call it a porter. You don't have to come up with a silly name for it. Right. Here's our brewing company. This is our porter. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So uh, we'll see if that All kind right. of a simplicity. Uh, carries over to the beer. So with this amber ale, we should be seeing a deep amber color, the aroma of fresh hops, a smooth and flavorful body, as well as a hop finish. Now it's a 34 IBU, so it's got a little bit of bitterness, nothing too, Not too crazy. 6% alcohol, so a very drinkable beer as well. And it looks like you did a good job pouring that one. Good All head. Right. Very good head on that. So yeah, just a, an amber oh, color, yeah. which you can definitely see there. Perfectly clear. Nice and clear. Doesn't look got like some good much bubbles. carbonation too. Oh, you see some in yours? I got, I I got, I got some mine. good bubbles. You know, nothing too wild, but uh, they're definitely there. I you smell the hops for sure right there. And a sweetness too. I'm definitely getting a caramel scent. Mm. I mean, Mount Caramel, there right? You got to have it, right? Smells good. I like it so far. That is, yeah, that's really good. Let's give it a taste. Right. Cheers. Very sweet. Very sweet beer. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. It's getting sweeter. Little bit of that bitterness. Just a bit. Just a little. Bit of carbonation to it. I'd say it's got a clean feel though when I'm drinking it. Um, even with that that smell of sweetness, it's not it's not sticky. Yeah, sometimes when um, yeah the sweet beers tend to stick to the back of your throat right. or so, kind of give so you a film. Sticky sweet. But um, this is definitely drinkable. Now, if you notice on the bottle itself, let's see if we can hold that up over here. It's got a picture of a house with a porch. So, you know, kind of that's their um, kind of mission. They want to be able to make beers that people can just drink on their porch, you know, something to enjoy on a hot evening or summer afternoon. Sure. And uh, I think that this would fit the bill. Yeah, it's pretty good. So for their flagship beer, um, does this give you a good sense of what you think their other beers might be like? Um, could be. You said that they also have a stout or a porter? They have a stout. Unfortunately, I don't have that. All right, someday <laughs> we'll make I've it got, all the way back. I've got to the Ohio. IPA. I've got the uh, the um, what were the other ones I said? I've got the IPA, the oh the blonde ale and the nut brown ale. Ah, yeah. No I'll stout try, though. I'll try the nut brown ale for yeah. sure. Yeah. But yeah, if I if I'm back in Ohio, I'll make sure to try to find the stout for us next time. So for the oldest craft brewery in Ohio, it's pretty good. Um, you know, I, if I was offered the beer, I would drink it. I don't think this is going to be one that I'm going to put 
mm -hmm. you know, up on the shelf in mm -hmm. high regard. But it's great. It's a good beer. It's very drinkable, um, enjoyable. So, you know, if somebody was offered this, I'd say go for it or do it. You know, if they want to try it, this is the one to try it. So, and we'll be trying their other beers in the future. Sounds good. So if you want to see those, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. If you like this review, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you've had this beer or you have any other comments on it, just make sure you leave a comment for us below. And until then, we'll see you next time. See ya.